I've already mm. seen some of the episodes. Mickey Guyton, it's so good. It's hey, so glad to have I you here. You guys. To have you in the so, studio. It's but, so good to be here in but, this new studio. Yeah. We like it. But Mickey, I first heard about you from Klaus, who's over there yeah. on the study. He came to work one day. He had seen you at a dinner and said, have you heard of her? And he showed me a video. And I tracked you down. And so we did our first interview. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. That's thank Klaus. You. Klaus. Thank you, Klaus. Bringing it. He could be your new best friend. Yes, he is. But, <laughs> but it's been almost 10 years. Yeah. So I look at you when I met you. You were single. You weren't married. You didn't have a baby. baby. And now here you sit here today, a grown ass woman, which you always I'm a were. Grown ass you are, woman. Yeah. Talk I'm about it. <laughs> but I wonder what this show is like for you, only because you know how these people feel. This is their big shot, their big chance. You know, I felt a huge responsibility for each of these artists. And for me to even have signed up for the show, I needed to let the producers and the showrunner know that you have to go beyond the show and protect these artists because I've been because I've done um, you know a show like this American Idol American I, yeah. I did and sometimes you can feel disposable like you're it's like on to the next next cast and I just for me I didn't want these artists to feel that way yeah and like that was a huge like that was something that was huge for me you so, know what else I thought was interesting is country music you, they say you guys say you want a different kind of country music. Yeah. But I never thought South Africa, yeah, Mexico, Mexico. Yes. India, India. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. I just think this. What's is the such thinking a, here? Yeah. I think it's just such a huge opportunity. Country music is universal. Yes. And there's so many people that love country music outside of America yes. that don't necessarily have the access to it, and this is giving them that opportunity. It's really holding the door open and giving listeners that love country music another version of it. So how do you define country music in this? I've heard it described as three chords and the truth. Yes. But if you're saying it's universal, all these people are bringing different experiences to it, yeah. then what, what is it? What are the judges looking for, I guess? So we're definitely looking for um, tones. We're looking for the stories. You know, country music is stories about life, and we want to hear that within the artists. When we want to hear, you know, a little twang in their voice, like what you hear in country music, that's stuff that we look for, for sure, and for the country artists. So one of the things, let's go back to your appearance on American Idol and what that was like and your attempt to try and make that different for the contestants yes. on this show. There mm -hmm. are people who are going to come on the show. Some of them are not going to make it. Yeah. But what is your advice to people who come on and who want to achieve some kind of level of, of success and fame the way that you have? That this show is a stepping stone to get to where you want to go. Like, this is not the end of the road. Even if you don't make it to the very end of the, the competition, it doesn't mean that you're less talented. It doesn't mean that um, you're not supposed to be an artist. This is just a stepping stone, and it's also letting so many people, you're exposed to so many different artists. Did you feel like that when you didn't make it in American Idol? Did you feel, did your, did your self-worth or value yes. feel, them? it did? Yes. Mm. It wow. did. I mean, but I was a lot younger. And it was at a different time. And I remember when they told me no, it was, it's heartbreaking, it's, it's gut-wrenching, you know? It yes. really is. Like, nobody yeah. likes to hear no. You know, and you know what else nobody likes to hear? This was a very difficult decision. You were so yes. good, very tough. Mm -hmm. yes. But we're not choosing you. And you yes. just look at their little faces. It's devastating. It's I, devastating. Lose, I lose sleep over it. Mm -hmm. I've but, lost sleep. But I look at many. Mickey, where you've come in this place, you know, a young black woman where, People thought you didn't belong. Yeah. And how you process that today yeah. as you sit here, because you too have kicked in some doors to yeah. get where you are. Yeah, absolutely. So how are you feeling about yourself and what it's taken for you to get from there to there to here? I feel incredibly proud of myself yeah. that I didn't give up. And I think that's the you lesson You thought about here. giving up? Oh my gosh, every day. <laughs> Sometimes even now I'm just like, oh my God, can I do this? You know, I left my son with my husband in LA I to be yes. here. Yes. That's really hard, but you know, it's so worth it, and I want to make my son proud, and I know he'd want me to be here. So oh, I'm sweet. here. And, and how are you feeling about the genre itself, country music? When we talked to you back in 2021, I think it was, you said you were very hopeful about its yes. future. Are you still feeling that way? I am feeling that way. With shows like My Kind of Country and what it's doing for country globally, I think is huge. And also, even on my record label alone with Cindy Mabe, they've signed like quite a few black artists from Warren Treaty to Dalton Dover that are two amazing black country artists that have incredible voices. And there's that's also happening at other record labels. So there is change. Obviously, I want it to happen faster, but we have to meet people where they're at right now, and that is happening, and I'm so Does excited. Does country music want it to change? Because I listen to some of the artists, I go, well, I'd like to hear a little bit more country. Yeah. Than that. Some of it sounded a little poppy to me. Yeah. 
Do you think the country music genre wants to change, is open to these changes? I think Jimmy Allen said it best. He goes, we're not trying to change country music, we're just trying to add to it. Wow. And I think that that is such a, a great way of saying it. You're not trying to change the landscape or change people's minds. Yes. And you have to give the country listeners credit that they do want to hear something different. Yes. Yeah. And that yes. line between country and pop has always been a little blurry. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, I agree. Yes, and country and hip hop, so, and country and rock. You what know? are you most excited about as you sit here today? Anything you can share with the class? I am. I have music coming out this oh, summer. Second really album, excited. yeah. I'm Here really excited go. about it. I can't say who it's with, but it's really, Woo. really exciting. Okay. Yes, you can. Yeah. Yeah, I, can't. Yeah. I can't. Give us initials. I can't. <laughs> and you're touring with Shania Twain for yes, a couple days. Yes, I am. Oh, I am. Exciting. So it's, nice. it's been great. I love it. We well, are so happy for your success. Thank y'all yeah. so much. Yeah, we got you in 2021, now you're here in 2023. Come back again before 2025. I would absolutely love that. Great. Klaus and I will still be here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mickey. Hopefully all of us will still be here. Yes. I intend to be here, too. Yes, you will be here. my age. I didn't mean it that way. I didn't mean it that way. My kind of country None of y'all will be here. I have a contract. My kind of country <laughs> tomorrow. I didn't mean it that way. I was just playing with Klaus. Tomorrow on Roll the Prompter, please, on Apple TV+. Thank you, Mickey. Thank you.